So whereas Camp Skull Valley was like the level 10 to 15, uh, this side of the map was like the level 15 to 20. Sort of a, uh, another bit of it I think about level 20 to 25. Um, and that would be that crystal up the top on the map. That's kind of where the harder things would be. So, uh, we can have a little look-see in that direction. Ah, uh, yep, round here. Welcome to Let's Map. just has me wondering about the constellations now. I wonder if they move. Is that an experiment that I really want to do? Just leave the server going in one location. Oh, no, we didn't want that. We didn't want that at all. Up here, there we are on the right level. So yeah, at the uh, southwest of the map, they did this entire thing of a large complex of tunnels, bridges going round a load of rocky outcrops on the map. They kind of do a baby version here. Um, might be something that I have a look at off camera and um, decide from there if there's going to be anything there of interest. But the crystal would be up there. I uh, just, there it is, we go up through here. Up we go. So it would have been hidden in amongst these trees. And then you can go up here. And as you can see, there's kind of a nice little path for you to follow. So you can just go straight across. Whereas the other one, you had to find the hole into it. Hmm. Might be worth me. Yeah. This one, you come in at the top and then you use a hole to go down and in. But we also have a wine pour on the map, so... I think that's going to be a good location to just go and aim for now. Which is not too bad to get to. I am pleased to say. Relatively straightforward. Just need to go and drop down here. Do I need to go back up again? Yes, I do. So we head up in this direction. Then once we're up here and clear of falling off the edge, we take a rough Southwest aim. Not quite that much, otherwise I'll end up going somewhere else. 
Yeah, that looks like a dead end. Another video that I'm considering doing is looking up how I got my ring. So I might spend some time and actually try and find all 12 locations of the Zodiac for this game which was meant to be part of the game it like i say previously that's why they got oh airship landing it's why they got you to choose your month your day and your god because those was meant to be factors that you couldn't take into account in regards to your character at least this one's got some torches on. Okay, there we go. Keep going in this direction. Another one of those wells. Make you think that there's something going on. We drop down. So this should be just a clear path to Aleport now. Uh, okay, let's make a minor course correction. Otherwise, I'm going to be going into a cliff. This one, it's this one. Now we start heading west. Airport, I mean wine port. Can always already see the lights, which is neat. As you can see from the footprint, it's not that large of a location. But it's definitely intriguing. Right, so last little bit can head in here. So, I'm just thinking about it. Yadar had NPCs where the starting quest was. This one had NPCs around camp. Um, the Shroud had NPCs in the Adventurers Guild. I think this project may have loaded in NPCs in one location. But yes, this is Wineport. Obviously, um, blacksmith. Alchemist? Question mark. Yeah, alchemist. Another one of those. have another one up here which I don't think I can get to nope no I cannot obviously you have this barn here I think the building's original. I think that was added later. At a guess. So, next thing's next. Camp Bloodshore. <laughs> oh no, that classed itself as a mini region. Intriguing, this game keeps surprising me. 
Oh no. It's doing it to me again. It's put another red dot right below Camp Bloodshot. Wow, this place has so many things underneath it. But yeah, I got a few things I want to look at. Kind of got a route in mind. Um, for a change though, we can actually follow the path for a bit, which is kind of why I'm on this vector that I am on at the moment. So, here we are, the path. Get ready for that squelchy, gravelly sound. Chips are coming in. So, head round here. Why do I get a funny feeling they're on an intercept vector? So far, as I say, nice and simple for a change. We are just following the path. Which is nice and refreshing, because you can sort of see the similarity of things that they've added. The only sort of newish bit is what they've put here. Woo! As I went down a little bit. There we go. Worry ended. So we're... This is Gap Bloodshore. And then directly south we have... Something I cannot read at this distance and is filling me with dread because... Ooh, no. No, no, that goes that way. Is this gonna be an underground bit? Is this gonna have a map? These are the questions I find myself answer asking. And I think it does. Oh, yes it does. How could I forget this place? How? Where the blinking heck am I? Oh, I see where I am. I see where I am. I see where I am. I am down here. So we go this way. Which take us north. Uh, that should take me into this little room here. The aim here is to be heading toward the center of the map. Because that's kind of where the crystal was. Or, uh, yeah, crystal first. Uh, which is through here so this has like a run that goes completely around it then we go this way and your crystal would have been here So yes, now, yeah, I remember that's how you get in, um, if we go toward this bottom corner, we can now go under that tunnel that we just came down, and you get into the tunnel that goes around it. Yep. 
let me continue down here. I'm glad to say that this is just one map, but I totally forgot about this place. Then you have this side bit off. You go through. And then you get to one of the four chambers. Like so. And if I remember right, that's. Yep, this is where these path things really come in handy. Because it allows you to traverse the gap. What's that reflection of? Weird. So up this way, across here. Think undead was here. Skeletons and of the like. It's what my brain is telling me. Don't think I had much reason to come down here. I think that's why it doesn't stick out in my memory. So I'm guessing you may be something. Dead end, or are you just a cabin? We will see down here. And you have more of the, yeah, that. Yeah, you could mind fossilized stuff from down here, if I remember correctly. So let's head back out. I figure I'm going to do this clockwise. So... When we come out of here, I need to be heading northeast. Going in that location get over there dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. dun uh, should be a path across here to facilitate my dastardly plan yep across I uh, need to start going in this direction. I think there was a notorious monster down here as well. In that chamber specifically. I don't think it was an item for a class I was leveling. Right, so we go this way. Up. And we come to chamber two. Which isn't too remarkable other than it's got giant slabs of thing. But I should be able to cut through the who? Looks pretty up here. Oh, this one isn't working. Weird. It is strange what bits of script do work and what bits of 
script don't work in regards to this game. <coughs> Welcome back, chat. Um, this is actually the fourth one of these that I've come across on this map. This place has so many of these underground locations. It's crazy. Welcome, chat. But, um... They did like their subterranean stuff in Lenoska. So let's see, we're on our loop. Oh, I missed my turning. Oh, I'd give my left nut for sprint right now. And a chocoboo. Okay, left nut for sprint, right nut for chocoboo. That would so make navigating this so much easier. Um, you are correct. I am, in fact, British. Uh, let's head over this way. Yay, I didn't go the wrong way. Okay, so this is a big room, small lake in the middle. I definitely have gone for some strange ideas. We do have a big... Okay, so they've got the stacked formation again. I have noticed quite a large room off to the side, so gonna poke my head in there not expecting any mobs to be there ah um, I multi stream so I have um, this is being streamed to YouTube and Twitch at the same time so I have chat on Twitch as well Which gets fun and complicated. Because generally Twitch and YouTube don't like you streaming to both of them at the same time. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm guessing not much here. Well, we came all this way for a flower. So we can head back to the main chamber. Oh, how could I forget this location? It just so stands out. Because you've got four large caverns. You've got an intricate system that goes to the crystal that's actually in the center of the map. I know what I'm going to blame. Eight years of sleeping. That's what it is. Oh. wonder if it would be daylight when I actually emerge from this place. Let's see what we want that exit. Okay, so this one they've got two land masses either side and like a river running through the middle. Now, please don't be awkward people and not put a path for me to be able to go across. Taking get, yep, that top one was a little room.
There we go. This should open up into the chamber I'm looking for. Nothing particularly up there. Yes, they gave me a path. Woohoo! If I can just get round that crustacean? No. I was worried I wasn't going to make it. Hoorah! Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we go up this way. That's not the exit I am looking for. I can head back up to sunlight. This is this way. So I want my first right and then first left. Because it's the cheating way of being able to get to the surface faster. I like shortcuts. So, round here. Yep. It's all going well. We start to ascend. I immediately run into a wall. Okay, that did not work as I hoped. Okay, we can deal with that. Oh, that map so made it look like that I could take that shortcut. Okay, I know where I've got to go then. A little bit longer. This way. Yep, we should be able to cut across this middle section and then cut across to the right bit via here. Nope. You're going to make me go all the way up, aren't you? You are. So head that way. Uh, yes, this is the location I am looking for. So we go across here, which is how we came into this section. And across these. And up. So when we come out, we want to go right, then take the first left. Yeah, this is kind of working. We can make it! We can make it out safe. Hole. And then we do this. Yes, and we're heading back up. Back to the open world. Back to where there is light. Even though I'm casting a shadow. At least I have some idea of where the sun is. And judging by that symbol at the top right, it should be daylight when I come out of here. Which would be nice uh, for a change. Keep going up.
Here. Oh, I see. I could have dropped down into that complex. That string of things from there. That's what it was indicating. Tread, tread, tread. Hoorah, we're back out. So we can go... Yeah, we follow the path for a, a little while. Yeah, this is the path. Kinda. Can go down. Yeah, that's right. So I think this is right. Yes, um, by my calculations, yeah, this would be near Costa del Sol. Um, but this again is one of them unique things that they did in this part which is they let you run around the base of this archipelago that's why there's like that sand surrounding on this entire section down here it's because you could play down here never really had much point to play down here but it was nice that there was an option definitely feels like the sort of place that you'd sunbathe I'm guessing you're a hole to go through yeah so obviously you got that aspect of it but then you also have the top section kind of what I like about these levels is the levels of this world it's layered I mean I honestly didn't remember the fact that there are four locations on this map that you can go down and into it's frightening Hello, Meteor. And up we go. So, this is what you see from upstairs. Get up here, we start heading toward these trees. Ah, oh, there we are. That's what I'm aiming at. Sorry, I was just getting going. Oh, those bushes just popped in. Uh, this is not the route you are looking for, but I do have the high ground. So, yes, we get up here. It also will, I'll be able to look down and show, you know, what they did down there rather than explore the same area just from different levels. So this again, uh, I may have got it confused with the other location. I remember being filled with giant crabs. They did like their crabs in this game, especially on this map. Um, I'm guessing... Over? Yeah, that's right. I actually think the crystal in this situation... 
It was down there. right way for me going. It's encouraging. Yes, there's a bridge. That's what I was aiming for. And from the other side of the bridge we'll be able to have a look back at this side of the bottom structure. Here, come off of auto run. It's just neat that they added it. I don't think you can say that they didn't put thought into the game. I just think they had too large a scope. For what they wanted to achieve. They wanted to try and accomplish everything on their to-do list as soon as possible, so I tried doing all of them at once, whereas I think they should have stuck to a more gradual um, development in regards to what they needed to get done and focus out the small components to get ready like small cogs winding up into middle co medium cogs going into large cogs it it's all got a mesh and that's another hiccup I don't normally hiccup. Uh, I don't want that bridge. This is not the bridge you are looking for. Uh, I want to be going this way. And there's my beacon that I was looking for. Which would have meant I'm pretty close to there, which means just got a Hit here, hit another location, hit Cheddar Wood. And that will be this region done. In way too many hours. But I blame it on the things that they put underneath the bloody place. It could have been all sensible, but oh no, they had to put in four sub-basements with one of them having three sub-basements to it. Uh, up here I believe. So... Oh, that sounded like a bad car. They know it because they're not trying to rev it. So yeah, little settlement here, little fenced off trees for no apparent reason. One of those things just in case, a wagon. Why couldn't I think of the word wagon? Let's head in this general direction for the last leg of this stream. Me going to Cheddarwood. Which pretty much puts me close to where I started. Another little section for it to unload the region that we was in to be able to reload the region that we're now in. They just didn't take into account that this is currently being run on an SSD, so um, my computer's kind of been waiting for me to get to the other side of the region. It's fantastic.
that's a little tunnel goes into cave underneath should be able to get away without having to use the map which would be nice so all I've got to do is follow the path I believe and then I should just see a little camp in the distance somewhere around here okay road you took the long way I'm gonna take the short way okay See, you should have gone this route road makes so much more sense there we go we've got our little crystal just floating up here fantastic we have done well uh, teleport make it so and there we are that is basically this region done and dusted. Uh, oh, no, no, forward a bit, forward. One of those rare times where you can actually have a decent look at models. You are very pale considering how long you've been out here. Very pale. I uh, can't do that trick with you, I'm guessing. Particularly. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I? Nope. Hey. I mean, all in all, the character models still stand up today. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I remembered it. You go stroke, sit, stroke, D, O, Z, E. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I knew there was a way, a combo of doing it. I just had to remember what. Uh, I don't think I can do my camera trick with one of you. Although. I don't know why, but that looks more anime these days, the way with the eyes. Hmm. And then we have this guy over here. So yes, there we are. I think that's going to be it for this stream. 
um, if everything goes according to plan, I will probably be doing my next stream on Friday, which is... Uh, I thought you could... No, it's not letting me. Probably only loads the map when I'm actually on it, because it's not a proper server. But yeah, it's been a long old ride. I think somewhere in the middle I lost about an hour of footage on stream and in recording. So probably in the next couple of days I'm going to have to find a quiet hour to just sit down and recapture that bit. But I know, think I know what I did in that bit, so it's not going to be too difficult. So till next time, thanks for watching and have a good one.